Welcome back folks to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder, and when last we left off, we'd encountered tons and tons and tons of skeleton warriors. If you don't believe how many we've encountered, you must believe how many we've encountered because there's just so many of them. There were a lot, definitely more than three, maybe about 13, 14 or 15 of them so far, but we're going to have one last look and see if there's anything that we missed while we... Anything that we missed while we were, uh, running away from skeletons. And that appears to be a, uh, Mage Scroll of Fear. So, there we are. We have a Mage Scroll of Fear, which is pretty good. I think it's a fourth level spell. That's the, uh, armor that we switched out. So we don't need that. And now we're going to see if we can, uh, use some of these keys. I doubt it's a ruby key. It's a drow key. No. Must be a jeweled key. It's probably the... there's another locked door right here. It's probably the reason why there are a, a lot of keys here, so that it forces you to go in and uh, have a look at all... That's another locked door, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, but it forces you to go into many of those locked air... There is a fourth locked door. All right, fair enough. This one? It then forces you to go in and uh, check out a lot of those rooms, which means you have to fight a lot of the skeleton warriors. Also... This area, hmm, this area is very familiar. We've been here before. Indeed, we have. If we turned around, there we are. It's just like we entered here when we went through the portal. Yes. Well, hold on to this wand for me. This obviously means that we were right to turn around and not go through here. Indeed. Which meant we basically, uh, we saved ourselves a lot of time messing around with a place we couldn't do anything. Indeed, that is true. There is a locked door here, though. I have a key, though. This key might work. And indeed, the key does work. Excellent! Stairs down! At long last, we'll be away from the drow. And where are we going? Uh, Valendra, where are we going? The Dwarven Prince could be down here. We have to check just to be sure. W well, yes, I suppose. I we're looking for the Dwarven Prince, so uh, coming this way might be a good idea. Are you in here, Prince? Are you in here? Oh, no, you're not in here. Those are some skeleton warriors. Ooh. Turn on deads worked. It will only really give us one hit apiece, but hey, one hit apiece is one hit apiece. We also most certainly want to, uh... We only have one skeleton warrior coming after us. That is really good. Oh, where are we? Ah, oh, there we go. We got turned around there accidentally by the, uh fact that the uh, Skeleton Warrior hit and then I was trying to uh, move away. Only one Skeleton Warrior is not so bad. It means we are much less likely to get hit by both of them together. But still, we need to... Aha! One has been defeated, but there was indeed another. Let's go and deal with that other one, shall we? Where... Ah, hello! You're still um, under the effects of Turn Undead. There we go. We'll just uh, back up here. A lot. We most certainly do not want to encounter any of these foes. Let's see... No? Oh, careful, careful. Back up a bit here. And see what happens. A miss, that's what ha- Ow! That's what indeed happens. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, if we back up here in the wrong direction, we're gonna end up in the alcove. Yeah, we'd have ended up in that alcove where the stairs were, and we'd have been trapped. The only alternative we'd have had would be to go downstairs, and we most certainly do not want to head down just yet. There we go. One defeated skeleton warrior. And let's never, never, never meet any of them ever again. So, you thought the prince was in there, did you? I didn't know that there were skeleton warriors in there, let alone two of them. There's absolutely nothing in here. There isn't even a single gold piece. Well, you'll be welcome to go and loot those skeletons. No, thank you. I'd rather not think about it. Here is another teleporter. And some doors. And things on the wall. Magic. Oh, there's something here too. Armor. And lastly, weapon. Which of these do we want more? Well, to be fair, armor might actually be better. We do have a lot of magical equipment. We don't have a magic bow for Dorum, but I doubt it's going to be a bow. I'm going to go with armor here. Let's see what we get. Braces! Aha! Now that is something we can use. Braces of armor plus three. 
which is plus three uh, armor class to rune. Can we open up the other ones? No, it would seem that we could only open one of these things. And this brings us straight back to here. Fair enough. That is not a bad thing to get. I do think we should rest before we uh, head down into the next area. Seems like a sensible plan. I don't think we're going to be attacked by any enemies if we do so. So resting and recuperating is certainly worth it. Because the next area beckons. And it's going, hey, you're going to die. Well, let's go. It's probably got the same uh, surroundings to it. Yes, indeed it does. I hear something moving. Oh no, it's not another place with lots of doors. And at least these doors aren't locked. What is this? Gauntlet of Flame. Turn back. I think I will. I think I will. Well, uh, well warned. Do not want to go into a Gauntlet of Flame. What do we have here? A door? This door leads to... Hmm. Did that just turn us round? I think that might have turned us round. Aha! A Drider! Driders are a um, an enemy that are related to the Drow in the sense that uh, the goddess of the Drow will test various um, will test various of the uh, faithful at certain points in their life, and if they fail, the goddess will transform them into Driders. And this is a Drider. Still quite deadly in their own right, but uh, not as deadly as the drow themselves. At least not most of the time. These drow certainly um, are very dangerous, and these drider here certainly are not as dangerous. That said, though, aha! That is a uh, level for Taghor and Rune apiece. So let's see if uh, Rune can memorize any more spells. Another Melv's Acid Arrow, and a Casting of Fear. That's not a bad thing to get. And that's a lot of spears if we wanted them. We currently do not want them. There we go. Here's a scepter of kingly might. I have no idea what a scepter of kingly might does. Let's have a look. Does it do anything? I don't know. So we're just going to hold on to it for now. And those are robes. We're not really bothered about robes. Let's just use lay on hands here. And that healed a lot this time. Excellent. And it definitely turns you round, doesn't it? Well, it turned us round. Definitely. We're going to head out now. And I think that's turned us round. Yep, that turned us round. So we're going to uh, explore a little more. I think we can go this way now. Anything down here? Probably. Oh, hello. Here's another drider. Hello, how are you? Oh, that's a spear. We want to avoid that. That might actually hit other places that uh, aren't the front row. I think ranged weapons that oh that are thrown might do that. The magic missiles don't. Well, actually, the magic missiles hit all kinds of opponents. Let's see uh, how we're doing. Oh, we've uh, not rested since we've cast a few spells. So we're just going to have to see if these uh, Melf's Acid Arrows do the trick. They appear to be doing absolutely nothing. But then again, so is this Drider. There we go. Anything down here of any importance? No, not yet. We might as well have a look and... Uh, actually, we might as well rest right now. Resting isn't going to hurt us unless a uh, drider decides to throw a spear in our face. That would be particularly bad. Moving on! Anything down here? I hear more enemies. Any enemy? Oh, hello! That... Best guess? That might be a... That's a Hellhound. Hellhounds are the ones that breathe fire. Not very difficult, though. Not very difficult at all. You gonna throw a spear? You might throw a spear, but either way, we're going to deal with you with uh, melee combat. Yeah, the spears can hit people in the back row. That's not good. Fortunately, they don't hit that hard, and it didn't seem to be uh, that uh, often that that happens. Two damage is really nothing to worry about. I'm actually sort of um, not wanting to use our ranged weapons here, because I don't want to uh, end up having to spend time recovering them, especially if the Drider respawn at the rate that, say, the Kenku do. You can never be quite sure how quickly these enemies respawn, after all. 
I wonder if the Drow Cleaver is uh, just as effective against these as it is the um, as it is the uh, the Drow. Who knows? Who knows? Not I, that's for sure. Also, all of these um, Drida are now dead. The Hellhounds are actually even weaker than the Drida, which is oh, hello. Speaking of Drida, here are some more Drida. Ooh, there are boots in there. And you'll note that there is one of those uh, portal ways there. That's pretty nice to know. I wonder if there's a portal way for most of the levels. I imagine there aren't portal ways for the areas before you encounter there, but there... Oh, we are surrounded. We are surrounded. This is really bad. Right, we need to deal with one of these right now. Fireball! Aha! And then we are no longer surrounded. We don't want to end up in a situation where our backline is obliterated because we let ourselves get surrounded by Dryder. Fireballs there were certainly the answer. And the question was Dryder's. What do we have here? A cleric scroll of protection from evil. Not very useful, but we'll hold on to it. Drow boots. They're probably useful for something. Hmm. We'll swap out the uh, leather boots for them. I don't know what they do, but uh, I think Taghor could uh, use some leather boots. Let's be a little cautious and heal. That was terrible. What about this? That was slightly less terrible. Keyword, slightly. I don't remember which um, item that is that would uh, activate that. Is that the scepter? I think that's... Yeah, that's the scepter. So the scepter will get us here to the level with the Dryder and the Hellhounds. Okay. Nice to know. Let's see what else we can find if we... Hello, there's a Dryder. How are you? Would you like to fight me? I think you might. Hello! Don't throw spears! I merely wish to kill you! I merely wish to kill you. Also, as um, as a side note, I'm not entirely sure if you can use a uh, halberd from the uh, back rows. I'm generally not trying to because Valendra here is uh, quite good at um, close range combat, being one of the strongest people in our team, and I don't really want to... This door is locked. Is this door also locked? Yes. No way to open either of these doors from this side. Hmm. Well, let's have a look around and see what we can uncover. A door we can open, with a hellhound in it. A couple of hellhounds, actually. They attack quite fast. I imagine they would, since they're basically just breathing uh, fire at us. They're not that tough, though. There we go, one defeated, and there's another one. It's going to be a little difficult to do... Yeah, it's going to be difficult to do this, because they are very fast. But defeated they were. Anything of value? Ooh. Ah. I see a trap here. I really am averse to going through this area and finding any kind of trap-like things. That gets rid of the pit. Oh, it gets rid of pits, does it? Hmm. Does the pit come back if you don't step on it? Well, that most certainly solved a problem. Wasn't a very uh, complicated problem, that, uh, that said, but uh, we got past regardless. Here is another one of these. Okay, and another wand. I'm not going to say no to more wands. Wands are pretty useful, even if I don't know what these wands are. Here is a door. Does it open up to uh, anywhere interesting? Don't know. Well, it's worth exploring regardless. Any enemies whatsoever? Hello! I'm here to... Uh... Ooh, did that just turn us round? That might have... Yeah, that turned us round, didn't it? Because here we are to this one. West, west. We'll go over here. And go through... There are a lot of doors here. Hmm. A lot of doors. Well, might as well start with this one. Hello, Hellhound. How are you? What are you guarding? I have no idea. We're about to find out if you stop breathing fire all over us. 
the fire is really not that scary. Neither of these hellhounds. Hellhounds should really be scarier than this. Then again, 18 points of damage. Did that do anything? I'm unsure. Here is a scroll. Ooh, that's a scroll of Ice Storm. Yes, please. Ice Storm is a fantastic spell, and I believe that is a fourth level spell. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh yes, that is a fourth level spell. Goodbye, fear. Hello, Ice Storm. Ice Storm is fantastic. Well, at least it's much better than fear. Let's uh, rest the party for now, shall we? I think that was most certainly worth doing. Most certainly. We're just going to have to keep looking around and see if we can find anything else. Although I get the feeling there might not be much more for us to explore around here. We could go and have a look at this one and see if it opens. It does. Well, let's have a look. Anything in here? No, nothing. Maybe that's one of those situations where you have to pick an item, where you either pick uh, one thing in one direction or another thing in another direction. Either way, we found basically what we wanted. I don't know how much better the items in the uh, other room were, but for now we have found something great. Now, how are we going to... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about this uh, puzzle at all. This puzzle seems very, very, very easy. Well, we solved it, and that's all that matters. Or maybe we didn't solve it. Perhaps we completely and utterly bypassed the actual puzzle, and there was something awesome there. That said, one of these doors will not open. Hmm, these doors won't open. Do they open... Do they open based on those switches? That could indeed, uh, be something. What do these switches do? They activate... I don't know what they activate. They activate the... They activate pits, don't they? Why would you want to activate pits? That's actually a really good question. I don't know why you'd want to activate pits. I don't think that's the solution, however, to anything. Hey, do you want to open pits in the ground? No, nobody wants to open pits in the ground, because pits in the ground are awful. So let's backtrack a bit. Well, hopefully we're not going to get as lost as we did in all the other places we've been to like this. I doubt that we will. I imagine if the Drider reside here, there aren't as many horrible traps, except the Gauntlet of Flame. Ah, uh, yes, the Gauntlet of Flame. I've never heard of such a gauntlet. I don't want to hear of such a gauntlet. Unfortunately, you may not have much choice. The Gauntlet of Flame sounds like something we may have to go through. Why do you always ruin all of my fun? Aye, but if we're the people who do get through the Gauntlet of Flame, there'll be a lot of uh, fame and notoriety that comes with it. We're backtracking, aren't we? Oh, yes, we totally are. In fact, this is an area we've been to before. Well, we don't want to go through here again. We want to go and find this Gauntlet of Flame. Uh, do we really want to go and find the Gauntlet of Flame? We can go look at these other rooms first. Ooh, a flail. Flails are slightly better than maces, so we'll equip the um, equip, not a eclip. We shall eclip the flail. No, we shall equip the flail. Is it a magic flail? No. Lots of things we have are magical, but the flail is not. What do we have in here? Plate mail of great beauty. Is it any good? Let's have a look. Our armor class has... Our armor class has got worse. Our armor class has got substantially worse. I think it's safe to say that this plate mail is of great uselessness. I don't know what it does, if it does anything useful at all. But it would seem that right now there's nowhere else we can go except the Gauntlet of Flame. Really not sure I want to go to the Gauntlet of Flame. Really not sure. Gauntlet of Flame sounds fireball-y, and I don't like fireballs. I don't think anyone likes fireballs. Are you talking directly to me? Well, of course I am. I can talk to you all the time. Really? No, no, no I'm, I'm just messing with you. You're not messing with me, are you? I'm just going to let you imagine that. 
Who are you talking to? Oh, oh, no one. Just, just myself. Just myself. Muttering about the fact that we're going to be entering into this flame doom corridor of doom. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, you've got to trust us. We've been very fortunate up until now, Sunstar. I'm sure luck is still on our side. Or oh, we're about to become crispy dead people. Well, that could happen too, but you've got to look on the bright side of things. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. So, uh, when we come back, folks, we're going to go into the Gauntlet of Flame. And highly, highly, highly hope that we're not going to be dead at the end of it. Yeah, I was thinking of something else, but, uh, like, like, incinerated or obliterated or crushed. But in the end, the only word that could best describe it was dead. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.